question for you this week. Is it time for you to get pissed off? Hey guys, Randy Gage here. Welcome to another episode of Prosperity TV. I'm coming to you again from the Banana Republic of Miami. Uh, and I want to talk about your situation in life and how you accept it or don't accept it. In particular, your financial situation, where you're at in terms of money. If you have the money thing out of the way, if you have security, if you prepared for your future and taking care of your loved ones who will need help, or are you struggling? And how old are you? Where are you at? What stage of your life? And sometimes, and you know, I'm a big guy all the time telling you all the time, forgive yourself, give yourself a break, give yourself another chance. But I think there's also another element that sometimes you got to get pissed off with yourself. You got to get pissed off with where you are. And why I'm bringing that up, because I just went through an email exchange with uh, uh, my coach on the uh, softball team. And it's a new season coming up and he's writing me about jerseys and uniforms and what we're going to do. And I'm saying, come on, get the decent jerseys. Like we had great jerseys for the World Series. Can we use those? And he's writing back, well, you know, I don't want the new guys to have to pay so much if they get those jerseys. And I'm writing back. You know what? This is not a little league. This is not a beginning team. This is a master's division. So you, for you, you know, to translate that for you guys who aren't into softball, that means old guy division. <laughs> okay. This is the enlarged prostate division. <laughs> so it's a 50 plus team. So I'm writing it back. Dude, if you're 50 years old or older, and at this point of your life, it's a crisis, the difference between paying $18 for a jersey or $28 for a jersey that's spread out over a three or four month season. Maybe you've made some really bad decisions in your life up to that point. And I don't say that to be mean or snarky or judgmental about those people. I'm just, again, you know how this show is. I just share what's worked for me, what hasn't worked for me, what's on my mind and what my core beliefs are. And that I think if I share them with you, might cause you to do some critical thinking and might allow you to uh, make better choices or decisions or actions in your own life. And I think back when I lost my restaurant, when it was seized by the IRS, and I was driving along up I-95 crying in a car that I didn't own because I didn't have a car. I'd lost my car, the, you know, I had no house, no car, no credit cards, no money, $55,000 in debt. And I'm like 30 something years old. Um, and that's like cute and romantic when you're 18 and you sell all your furniture to be in a business. But that's what I was doing. I, I you know, I ended up selling all my furniture, sleeping on the floor. And I'm looking at my friends who are 30 also, 30 something, and they have homes and they have jobs and they have cars and now they've had kids and they're building their life and I'm selling my TV and selling my sofa. And I got pissed off. I got pissed off and said, I'm not gonna live this way. I'm better than this. All right, I up. But everybody up sometimes but I'm gonna dust myself up, I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna go after it and I'm gonna make my way back. And I actually took a job flipping eggs at a diner, a diner inside a drugstore. Okay, this is like the worst possible job that you could get in the restaurant business, okay? It's not even a restaurant, it's a dinette in a drugstore. And I had to be there at 5.30 in the morning. So I'm getting up at 4.30 in the morning and, you know, getting down there to be there at 5.30. I did what I had to do because I got pissed off and I said, I'm not going to live this way. And so for you guys who are in that situation now, you're 30, you're 40, you're 50, you're 80. And you say, you know what? I don't have any financial security. I, it would be a problem if I just came back from uh, uh, the, the, I stopped at the drugstore on my way back from uh, lunch and I, I needed some Claritin. 
So I got two, because I don't like to go all the time, so I bought two bottles of it. I go to the drugstore, you know, I go to the cashier and they're like, okay, it's 94, I'm like, what? Are you telling me these are $46 a piece? Yeah, those are the 90 count. Okay, whatever. So that's the reality. If stuff is expensive, right? So if it's $46 for a bottle of allergy pills, you know, it's like, we need to make money. We need to be successful. We need to, you know, not be a victim. So here's what I want to say to you this week. If you're in one of those scenarios and you haven't got the money thing out of the way and you're at a stage in your life where you know you should have gotten the money thing out of the way or you wish you would have got the money thing out of the way, get pissed off. And, you know, don't beat yourself up and get despondent and suicidal or whatever. Get pissed off and just say, I'm not going to be a victim anymore. I'm going to find a way to solve problems or add value so I can manifest more cash flow in my life. And there has never been a better time to be alive than right now because of social media technology, the, the iPhone you might be watching this on or the laptop. I mean, you could make your own movies, you can make your own documentaries, but you start with whatever. If you've got to rake leaves, shovel snow, mow lawns, be a house sitter, become a dog walker, become a pet sitter, uh, open a concierge service. I mean, you just get on Craigslist right now, you find a way to solve problems or add value and you could turn that into cash. So it's always back to the choice. We can be a victim or we can be a victor, but you can't do both. You gotta pick one. So you know me, I want you to choose to be a victor. Peace. Hey, have an amazing week, and remember, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you next Monday.